Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a new experiment I have been working on. This is the first time I've done it and I didn't know that it actually would work. So um, the experiment is propagating Chinese cabbage from um, side shoots that it developed. So here is a side shoot that I um, pluck off of the parent plant. and I place it in a container of water, just a small container right there, just a shot glass. And you see this here? Around seven to 10 days later, we get roots. So now what we're going to do is take our rockwood cube here and we're going to cut it down the middle. And we are going to insert this in there. We want the, the inside of the, uh, the plant upward. So something like that. And then we're going to put it in a net cup. I don't have a net cup, so I took a shot glass and I cut the hole down there. So this is what we're going to use and we're just going to place it in there. Like that. And now we put it into a bottle. I just cut the bottle. So if you have a, a drinking bottle like this, cut right here. So use your scissor and just cut around that area. And that should give you this and that would fit your net cup or your shot glass perfectly in there and now we're gonna fill it up with nutrients and I have my nutrients pre-mixed all I use is um, the air garden plant food here uh, five milliliter per gallon that's it nothing else so just a gallon of water and five milliliter of the solution and then we're going to fill this up Make sure that the water touches the bottom of the net cup. There it is, see? And we're going to put it under our air garden. So I'll show you in a second. Before we do that, let's put it inside a koozie so that it will block lights from getting through into the nutrients causing algae to grow. Okay, so it's sitting right there under my air garden. Um, I'm going to let it grow a little bit and then I'm, I may move it into my garage. So uh, I'll show you what happens uh, once there's some progress. Okay, it has been 18 days now since we uh, started the propagation for the Chinese cabbage. It's grown a, a good amount, so uh, it's time to move it into a larger container so that it can grow much better. So what we're going to do here is use this one gallon container I spray painted this black that way lights can't get through because when lights get through into the nutrients it causes algae to grow and algae will compete with the plant for the nutrients and eventually will suffocate it and because this is a non-circulating method algae is a very big problem so you try to prevent as much as possible so um what we're gonna do here is uh, uh, use this one gallon and we're going to use the Aero Garden plant food and it's going to be five milliliter per gallon. And let me go ahead and add our nutrients. This is a one teaspoon, which is five milliliter. And here's water straight from my garden. So what you want to do is make sure that the plant here touches the bottom of the uh, or the water touches the bottom of the net cup because it, if it goes too far up the plants will suffocate because uh, this is a non-circulating method 
And right now, most of the roots are submerged, so um, this is the best time to, to transplant it because if you accidentally have too much water, the plant would still be okay. So you want the water level somewhere right here. There you go, just enough to touch the bottom of the net cup. And because we added the nutrients first, and then when we spray water in there, it mixes everything up nicely for us. And this net cup here uh, fits perfectly inside a 51 millimeter hole saw. And that's how I created that. So, uh, we're all set. And uh, we're gonna place this outdoor in the sun. Um, right now I'm gonna put it in part shade because it just came from inside. So uh, within four to five days, then I'll expose it to full sun. So uh, we'll be back and check on it soon. Okay, the plant is now 29 days old. From when we cloned it to now, I, I placed it outside completely. Uh, starting to get adjusted now and uh, grown pretty well. It's very very windy at uh, this time of the year and so some of the leaves are breaking but uh, it grew quite a bit so uh, that's what it looks like in 29 days so uh, we'll be back soon and I will give you guys another update. Okay the plant is 39 days old now and it is looking pretty good. It drank most of the nutrients up it's probably down to here now, but I'm not going to refill because I need this container for some other projects. So I'm going to end the experiment right here. Uh, cloning Chinese cabbage uh, is a lot of fun. It's also very easy. Uh, the thing I'm not sure of is if cloning or starting from seeds will grow the plant faster. I may have to test that in the future. And also because it takes around 70 to 100 days to create the the cabbage head and I'm not sure if uh, cloning it uh, will work so um, I'm gonna have to do that in the future as well but for now I'm gonna take this plant here and put it into soil so that is it for the experiment you can clone Chinese cabbage and grow it into a full plant as you can see here uh, and again I'm not sure if that clone plant will grow and produce a, a cabbage head so uh, maybe I'll try that in the future as well so that is it guys I hope you enjoy the video if you have any questions or comments please leave it below and thank you so much for watching